And today we're looking at the MX Master 3 mouse. Now my version is the Mac version, so it doesn't come with the dongle, but basically they're pretty much identical to the PC version that comes with the dongle. So it works on Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. I've had this for probably, I think I must be getting close to 12 months now. So this is it here. This is what I use in my studio setup, along with the MX Master Keys keyboard, which I got more recently. I did an unboxing for that, which will be you'll be able to find on my Amazon page or over on the listing for this device. But the MX Master 3, it's an interesting shaped mouse, which you can see in some of the close-ups we're showing you here. I can see I've got a little bit of gloss where my finger clicking has given taken the matte gloss off uh, the matte uh, finish off a little bit, starting to gloss up on the on the things, but no issues with the button so far after what I think is getting close to 12 months. Uh, fairly easy to pair with the Mac. I've paired, this is the second Mac I've paired it with. I originally had it paired with my uh, MacBook Pro, now paired with a Mac Mini, the M1 version. You can potentially have this paired with three different devices at once. It's got three different settings so that you can switch between, say, a Mac PC and an iPad or something like that. Has some interesting extra features, but the, the most startling thing to, to note at the start is the look of it. It is not shaped like a regular mouse, like a traditional mouse that you would find, even ones from Logitech or other brands. This one is shaped a little bit more ergonomically. And for the first day that I got it, it was a little bit odd to get used to. But I must tell you, after that first day, it was like a glove. Just going in my right hand, thumb resting there, two fingers it is just a natural feel but ergonomically it is a really good feel so after the first day of getting used to it you should find that that's feeling really ergonomic it has all the standard buttons of course your left click your right click the scroll wheel has two settings so you can scroll like a freewheel style so you can just freewheel it or you can have it go like in, in like a ratchet style so it like clunks in increments it rolls in increments and you can feel that tac tactilely I have mine set for that increment setting. It also doubles as your middle key by pressing it. There's an additional button at the back that can be programmed. You've got a side wheel on the side here. Now this is interesting, in, in apps like say Final Cut Pro, using this side wheel actually makes you uh, slide side to side in the timeline. It's like a traditional scroll wheel is up and down. This will do your scroll side to side. You've got additional programmable buttons two below it. I don't actually use any custom buttons myself, uh, but they're there if you're into custom buttons and customizing your mouses. And this paddle at the bottom where your thumb rests is actually another button. I don't have that programmed either, but you can actually click on it. And at the moment it defaults to mission control mode. So yeah, pressing that will put you in mission control by default, but obviously that's a programmable button as well. Using the additional software that you get for the Logitech gear, you can program the buttons how you see fit. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm having no problems with it. I enjoy mousing with it, navigating my Mac with it, editing on Final Cut Pro with it. It's really good, it's really good. Now, it doesn't take any battery. It's got a built-in battery, charges, with a USB-C cable that comes with it. It looks something like one of these. And so it's USB-C to USB-C, so you can just plug USB-C in one end, plug that in the other end into like a charger or a, a USB-C port on your computer, and that will just charge up as you go. Let me plug that in so I can show you that in its workings. So let me just plug that into this USB-C. You know it's charging. The green light comes on, gives a little bit of a glowy um, flash. And then you can see it's charging. So no need to have to worry about changing batteries all the time. You can just give it a top up. If you have all the software installed, you can actually see how much battery it's got. If you open up the, the software and look at all your Logitech devices, it'll show you in the bottom exactly how much battery each device has as you scroll through. You can top it up anytime with the provided USB-C cable. Overall, in this past 12 months or so that I've had this, I must say I really enjoy this mouse. This is a step up and this is a, a, a excellent mouse. So I highly recommend this mouse if you do any pro work on a Mac in particular, but also if you get the PC version, it's gonna be just as good. 
has all the additional features, programmable buttons, USB-C charging, and looks a little bit like a spaceship, <laughs> as you might tell from the pictures. Yeah, highly recommended. I have no qualms recommending this mouse to anybody out there who is looking for a solid mouse for their office studio type environment.